Hey, what's up guys? So I was able to get the developer preview of the Mountain Lion and I'm going to be going over some of the features that I can remember um, and some of the important ones as well. Um, so for starts, we have the notification bar at the side. I'll be sending myself a text so you guys can see how that kind of works out. So let's just say you're just you know using your desktop and somebody randomly sends you a text message or an email so let me just send myself a text message hey Sandy. as you guys can see you get a little notification bar and it's kind of nice it doesn't get in the way so it's nice and you can you know preview all your messages you can have emails and calendars reminders and all kinds of stuff and this is going to be a built-in api so many different applications and developers can use this um, another thing to drop the mac name so it's now os 10 it's kind of nice and also when you do software updates it actually takes you to the app store which is kind of different it's gonna be something to get used to also some name changes for contacts and calendars uh, nice little differences um, you also now have notifications as well so you can change whether or not you want the banners or alerts you know it's very similar to iOS and that's pretty much what they're trying to do they're trying to make iOS and Mac OS 10 or OS 10 very similar because um, the iPad is the most popular um, OS from Apple and you know a lot of people have an iPad and they get an iPad before they even touch a Mac so this is you know sort of getting you know if they're used to the iPad they're gonna be very used to this as well um, some of the other changes if we go to the widgets um, now if you hit the plus sign you also get a um, iPad look as well so you can also search as well one of the things that I noticed is that it, all the icons are all very pixelated I guess they haven't been this the the quality of the icon hasn't been scaled up yet but it's very nice to say the least also when you launch um, launchpad oops sorry there you go when you launch launchpad you can actually search for something so let's say for instance you're looking for safari you can search it just in case for people that have a lot of apps you can definitely search them up another one of the biggie big applications for certain people i mean for me i'm not really much of a gamer in terms of playing games on the mac but the game center app is here it doesn't actually work right now but it's gonna be pretty cool to actually be able to have a unified place to play on a Mac. So you know, multiplayer people that like multiplayer will will have a lot of fun here. Another thing with Safari, Safari now has a unified search bar, just like Chrome, and it actually looks really nice. You can just search Google, do your Google searches, and type in your um, addresses. And another thing to note is that the taps bar are now <laughs> large. If that makes any difference to anybody but it's there and now the reader button um, is actually very noticeable so if you want to do some readings and read some articles you can just let's see if I can pull up the article there we go just click on reader and it just unifies all the text for easier reading that's kind of nice let's close that up um, notes notes looks very similar from the iPad nothing groundbreaking here but just kind of nice that it's now been unified so it's not you know connected to the mail application reminders looks exactly the same as the that as in inside of the iPad so nothing surprising here but it's kind of nice just to have everything unified let's see what else do we have let's go into system preferences uh, security in general we have allowed applications to be downloaded so we have three different settings we have downloaded from the, the Mac App Store which is going to be going to give you uh, the most security and it's pretty much going to sandbox your computer basically sandbox it in the same way that the iPhone and the iPad are in now if you want a little more power or, you know you want to be able to install different applications that are not located inside of the App Store you have this one here this um, different setting which is identified developers which Apple's going to give them a special identified signature so they know that they're a trusted developer. Or you can just go with any from anywhere, which is basically how Macs are right now. You also get a little more control over pi um, piracy. Um, piracy. <laughs> P 
privacy. And that's pretty much all the differences that I was able to find. Let's see, is there anything here? I think there's something here. Um, screen savers, you have slideshows and you have a couple different screen savers as well. So that's kind of nice. Mm, did I miss anything else? Let's see. I think that's pretty much it. Some of the major changes at least. Let's see, let me take out the picture. So when you do quick view, you can actually oh yeah, also the quick share. You can actually, you know, email it to somebody, you can do real quick things here. Open in preview. Well, that's kind of nice. And that's pretty much it, guys. Um, they said that Mountain Lion is going to be out during the summer, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be $29.99. I mean, I don't think anybody will be willing to pay $129 for, for this upgrade. So, yeah, so this is Mac OS 10. Or OS 10, excuse me. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys later.